Can I get a venti iced caramel macchiato? With I actually won a gift card that one of the associates in my room nominated so me for. Me. Thank you. Sent a bouquet of flowers in for all of our teachers. Good morning and happy Monday. I cannot believe that we are starting another school week already. This is officially it. Kids come to school this week, which is wild. It is so hot this week though. It's supposed to be 104 the day kids come back to school, which I just, and it's like that all week. It. I was sweating this morning at seven o'clock taking my dogs outside. So that is wild, but welcome. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Elena. I'm a K through five behavior special education teacher starting my ninth year of teaching. I cannot believe it. Can't believe how fast it goes. Today it's like eight o'clock right now. We have lighthouse team meetings at nine, action team meetings 9 30 to 10 30, and then I've got a break until one o'clock from 1 to 2 30. We have elementary curriculum meetings and then we have uh, meet the teacher tonight, which is exciting. And I've got a nice skirt and shoes to change into for that because again, I don't get to wear those nice fun clothes once the school year starts. Need to be a little bit more practical for my position. That's a lot of joggers and teacher tees once the school year starts. I have just some random things I need to get taken care of in my room. I'm really hoping they finalize our schedule today so that I can continue with making my schedule and all my students schedules and their visual schedules. It just is time consuming to do those things. So I'm hoping I can get that done today because again, school starts Wednesday. So yeah, you might get a few time lapse of me working in here and I will check in with you at some point later today. Happy Monday. Well, this vlog is starting off wonderfully because I got no time lapses done. It is 12.15 right now. I am going to go and make sure I get some lunch. They're serving lunch over at the high school for all of us and have a bunch of different local vendors there. It's actually really cool. Uh, so I'm gonna go get some lunch there, do my one to 2.30 meeting. Then I actually won a gift card that one of the associates in my room nominated me for from one of the local dental offices so i won a 250 dollars amazon gift card that i need to go and pick up i also need to quick run and let my dogs out and then come back here for meet the teacher i will be changed and in my nice pretty teacher outfit and maybe then i can get some time lapses done because i have eight students on my roster i will not be busy for the entire two and a half hours of meet the teacher so i can maybe get some of that stuff done I have most of my visual schedules created. I've got two more students left that I need to make out of the eight. So most of them are done. I sent them to be printed. So I just need to pick them up from the printer and actually uh, one, tape some on desks and then two, uh, put the rest with the binders that need to be finished filled. So, okay, that's my afternoon and hopefully I get some better footage later and actually remember to film something. <laughs> Okay, we're back and changed and I picked up my gift card, $250. I am so excited about this. So I'm going to tidy up my room a little bit and actually turn on the time lapse for that. So I have video footage for this <laughs> vlog other than just me talking to the camera like this. Then maybe I'll show you what I'm thinking to spend this on. <laughs> Start of the night and I'm waiting to call you It's knocking on doors in the dark I've been walking now Been laid up on the news, now you're lying The look up on your face, now you smile It's the start of the night and I'm waiting to call you It's knocking on doors in the dark I've been walking All right, it's 6.15, Meet the Teacher went really well All of my kids came but one And that was just so much fun to see them After not seeing them for last couple of months and yeah it was just made me made me really happy to see them and see them excited about coming back to school and excited to see us and me and their other teachers as well i'm gonna get out of here i know i wanted to get on amazon since i have my gift card now but i'm gonna wait till tomorrow and do that 
tomorrow and I'm probably not going to actually spend it all right now just because there will be things that come up through the school year that it'll be nice to have that in my back pocket to be able to take care of it. So I'm gonna get out of here for tonight and then I'll see you tomorrow bright and early. Associates come tomorrow so we'll have a lot of work time, a lot of meetings and Man, it's getting really real. School's almost here. The moment's coming soon on at the end of day. Come on, come with me. We're sipping on your water. We're chilling, cabana. Could roll like your nana. Come here, come with you. Just in the month the morning. Break your heart in silence. Cause the sun's out, so you gotta. It's the start of the night and I'm with Happy Tuesday. I'm sorry if you can hear the air conditioning blowing. It is way too hot to sit here and not have it going. I cannot, ugh. Yesterday it feels like temp was 104 and tomorrow for the first day of school, the actual temp is going to be 104 plus the heat, humidity. I just can't even imagine what that's going to be like. Those poor kids on buses. Anyway, today's the last day before kids come. I have a lot of scheduled meetings today with associates, with teachers. It's gonna be a good day, but it's gonna go fast. I have to go to the junior high first to have a elementary special ed teachers meeting for the entire district. So that's eight to 8.45. And then I'll come back to my building. I'll have like nine to 10 to print any last things I need before associates come. I need to print their schedules. I've had them made, but there's been minor tweaks and schedule changes late. So I just have held off on printing anything. So I need to make sure that it gets printed. Then from 10 to 11, all the associates in our building meet with our principal and the special ed teachers. 11 to 12, I will meet with the ones in my room. Starting at 11.30 all the way till two o'clock, I have individual meetings scheduled with teachers, associates. I've got AA coming in. We're just all trying to get on the same page about everything and kids' plans. And then, yeah, from Two to three, I think, is when we're meeting with their specials teachers to go through IEPs and BIPs with them. And then I will have three till four is contract time, but whenever I leave to just make sure things are ready for first day of school tomorrow. So yeah, that's the plan today. I will get as much video as I can, but it's going to be harder now that I'm not gonna be the only one in my room because I don't want to be filming other people if they don't want to be on camera. And I've got lots of other adults in my room during the day. Try to get what I can. But happy Tuesday, and here's to hopefully not melting today. It's gonna be a hot one. I just watched that back, and I am cracking up. It's gonna happen now as the sun shines at me, at how greasy <laughs> and oily my face, my lips, everything looks. I am not wearing makeup other than mascara, because unless it's like meet the teacher last night, I put some on, but I generally just don't have the time or energy to do that anymore and I load up on all my skincare products every every morning just as if you know that like glazed donut look people go for for when they go to bed I do that in the mornings too and I look like a glazed donut going to bed and going to work in the morning when I wake up so uh yeah if you're wondering what the heck is going on with my face that is it I guess COVID really did me in for caring about wearing makeup or what I look like because you had to wear masks so much of the time that I just got used to not wearing it and now I don't care. All right, that's all. Could I get a venti iced caramel macchiato with almond milk? So comfortable. Yeah. No one seems to that is it. Um, wait, what's the name for your order? Elena. Uh, You're so wonderful. You Thank you. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right. When I'm with you, with you, I feel... So lucky I met you and I still um, can't believe that I... Yeah, we made it back to school. I have about half an hour before 
associates come in and we start meeting and then I feel like my day is just straight through no end. So I'm gonna print their schedules, get it in the pile of stuff that I need to pass out. What's okay. up? I knew this was going to happen eventually, but I have so many different people that work in my room that while I was recording my last video, someone walked in and then my principal walked in and we were just chatting and anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm printing all the associate schedules. I just waited till last minute on that because I knew that there would constantly be changes and I know there's gonna still be more changes to come, but this is as updated as it is without wasting a bunch of paper from all the changes that had happened in the last 24 to 48 hours even. Now I'm just working on some small tweaks on students' visual schedules. Those just need to be ready by tomorrow, even though they're not fully following their schedules the first week, I want to have it out and ready for them so they at least like feel like they have an idea, or they know what their day is gonna be and yeah, I actually went and filmed my cart on Amazon of all the things that I want to use this nice gift card for that I keep talking about. And so maybe I'll go through all of that as well and show you what I'm about to order. But something is ticking. Can you hear that? I don't know what it is, but it's... Okay, it stopped. That's kind of concerning. I'm glad it stopped, I guess. But all right, let's get to work. <laughs> Even the dark, they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still um, can't believe that I get to See those sights from more than tonight I swear you must have felt from And just like that, it's almost 5.30 I cannot believe it I truly just had meetings from eight o'clock till four o'clock and then finally at four o'clock I had time for the first time today to actually work on the things that I needed to get done off of my own list uh, but it's okay it was all good stuff all good collaboration I'm you know glad that we had time to meet and talk about students plans and answer any questions that we could right away I need to change the date as I am looking at my calendars right here to make sure it's ready for tomorrow. I just wrote my morning message. Wow, why can't I find, this one must not have the, <laughs> messing with this. Uh, three, yeah. there we go. 23rd, it now says 23. Okay, and change this one. Don't ask me why I have two different calendars. I just do, okay. Uh, I've got a nice long to-do list on my desk. For tomorrow but everything that has to be done for the morning is done i finally paid the secretary for our school t-shirts for tomorrow so all right i'm gonna pack up and go home and try to get some rest for the first day of school tomorrow wish us luck made it to the first day i gotta keep it short because i feel like i'm really running behind time i'm not i'm 10 minutes before contract time but i wanted to be here earlier because I have some last minute things I need to get done before we take a staff picture at eight. So here we go, it's first day. All right, first day is done. That was wild. It was 111 today, which is unreal. I did car rider duty for 20 minutes is all at max and I was just drenched. It was, whew, it was hot. Kids had to have indoor recess because it was just too hot for anyone to be outside. That's a little bit of a bummer, but otherwise the day went great. A couple little hiccups along the way, but what else can you expect? I mean, there's gonna be a little bit of growing pains figuring out new schedules, new teachers, everything like that. But all in all, it was a great day. There was just no realistic way that I could get any footage throughout the day. And I don't, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to just considering the job that I do and how just busy the day is and how many students and adults that I work with there's just I don't know I don't really know how to get any footage without getting other kids or people in it so yeah first day's done and tomorrow I mean I've got a list for tomorrow and I'm gonna try to get into like actual lesson planning and seeing what I can get planned for next week we have a long-term sub in one of our other special ed positions and so that person's not licensed to do IEP stuff. So I'm gonna be helping a lot with that and have to like take on 
a lot of extra paperwork for extra students who aren't actually on my roster, but legally someone who has a Strat 2 license, which I have, needs to be doing this paperwork. So that's gonna be keeping me busy, so I need to check in with that long-term sub tomorrow and just make sure everything is okay and they feel confident about what they're doing. All right, that was first day. Tomorrow's Thursday already. It's gonna be a good week. Good morning, happy Thursday. I don't even know what I have for footage in this vlog right now. I think it's probably mostly just me at the beginning of the day and the end of the day telling you what day it is and chatting with you for a couple minutes. Uh, probably gonna be about the same thing today. It's Thursday morning. I am headed to work at 7.10 right now. I will get there before contract time, which is good because I know I can at least film some stuff before people come in or before my contract time starts. So I can get a little bit more than what I've been getting today and show you some of the things I'm actually doing in the classroom. Other than that, I don't have to start collaborations, have to, it's not the right way to phrase it. I don't start collaboration meetings with teachers until next week, but starting Monday for my 8 to 8.30 prep time every morning is going to be collaboration meetings scheduled with different teachers, so I don't really have any prep time in the morning. So if I want to get something done before that, I need to get my booty rolling in the morning and get there early. So that's kind of it for today. I will check in with you in the classroom. Made it to the classroom. For as hot as it is outside, blazing hot, it was 111 yesterday, and it's not gonna be quite as hot today, it's still really hot. I doubt we have outdoor recess again. The air conditioning works very well inside the building, so I'm always freezing in here, so I always have to make sure I've got a jacket no matter what. I did not prepare myself for that yesterday, and that was a mistake. I'm gonna show you quick one thing that I did with my students yesterday. I didn't have any real formal plans for yesterday just because I knew I was going to try to just be available for my students as they were in their gen ed classroom classes and trying to get just get to know their classmates and their teacher and their new routines. And that's really my plan for today and tomorrow. It's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, full days of school. And then starting Monday, I'll have a little bit more of like first week plans for me with students. But the first activity I always do with them is about me page. One of my students really did struggle coming in yesterday. I did pull this book out. I have this for myself from when I taught gen ed. I don't think I've said that for a while in any of my videos. I taught in the gen ed setting for six years before moving over to special ed. So I always read first day jitters and I'm sure most of you are familiar with this book. And if you're not, definitely get your hands on it it's great it talks about this girl being so nervous to come to school she doesn't want to come and then it turns out at the end that she's the teacher actually so really cute book but it was great because after we read it yesterday he looked at me and he was like wait what she's the teacher and so we just had a good conversation about being and it was really relatable about yeah even teachers have a hard time coming to school sometimes too so that really did make him feel better and I had him do this all about me page, which I will link below so that you can uh, get this version or another similar version. Uh, just, he drew his picture, what he wants to be when he grows up, name, everything. Simple, but that's what we did for our little social skills lesson yesterday. I need to now look at getting the math diagnostic test. I know it's only the second day of school and I hate doing anything academic because I really want to focus on like routines and get to know you stuff but because I have my kids every single year the get to know you part goes a lot quicker for us and the classrooms are getting to the math diagnostic in portions they're gonna it's online and they're gonna take it a couple sections so they're starting that next week I need to actually prepare myself for that because I'm probably gonna have to administer it to at least one if not a couple of students in my room. I need to make sure I know what I'm doing for that. And I will, yeah, start looking at some more beginning of the year plans and making sure all those things are prepped and ready. So I'm just gonna put it on a nice time lapse here of me working and you can watch that with some nice music playing. <laughs> I feel um, so lucky I met you. It's not bad to come. Still see light 
Even the birds still sing at night. Every word. Just... All right, we made it to the end of Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday already. I can't believe it. it. Was slightly less hot than it was yesterday, but overall it was a good day. I've got a big old Amazon box here that I am holding off from opening just because I'm. I know it's not everything that I ordered from my lovely gift card so i'm waiting for all of it to come at once so i can open it all together and then take a picture of it all together one of my students was definitely bothered though that this was sitting here and i hadn't opened it yet <laughs> so that was just kind of funny also hi v thank you sent a bouquet of flowers in for all of our teachers so that was really nice of them i'm excited to take these home and set them out so Anyways, I'm actually going to get out of here at a good time today, which is great, but I haven't actually started playing groups yet. I've just kind of been available to help as needed and get some lesson planning done in between there. So I don't feel terribly behind on things yet, which is great. It's a great feeling. I'm going to go home, make dinner and enjoy the evening. And hopefully my dogs enjoy being out of the kennel more than they have been the last few nights. <laughs> Gotta take one ride around in my body, in my body. Can't say I saw you right when I started, when I started I'm a hometown hero, that's a far that I came But I never knew if it would fall into place I became what I wanted and I'm still on the way, on the way. Ain't coming home the way I left it this time, something's different Ain't coming home the way I left it this time, it's my city, yeah, yeah. Ain't coming home the way I left it this time, something's different Ain't coming home the way I left it, cause I know you miss me now. Well, I'm busting the door down, coming to your house. It's a bit. Good morning and happy Friday. I cannot believe we're at Friday at the end of this week already. I feel like this camera looks like it's blurry. <sighs> okay, I don't know if that helped or not, but yeah, it's Friday can't believe it. This is probably the last day that I am just kind of on standby and next week I'll try to actually do some more lessons. So by the end of the day today I will show you some of the things that I'm planning on doing for next week for our social skills lessons. So maybe I could do it right now because I am going to meet with the teacher in about 15 minutes but maybe I can grab some things and show you right now. So let me pause for a moment. Okay, so first thing for lesson plans next week. First way we always start, even though I've had these students, like I've said, this is my third year in this position. My kids have been taught this already, but the first thing that we're gonna start off with is just identifying our own emotions and feelings. The best place to start with that, zones of regulation. If you do any type of SEL work in your school, whether you are in SPED or not, I am sure you've at least heard of this and likely use this. This is a great, resource whether you're talking tier one tier two tier three anytime you can layer it fantastic so our gen ed classrooms use this at the tier one level as well they don't necessarily teach all the individual lessons but they do use the language and teach the general concepts to students and we all every classroom has a chill zone that they go to and there's a lot of reference posters and good references in there to help them with some other coping strategies so this is something that we use school-wide at the tier one, two, and three level, our first learning target. <laughs> I took the SEL competencies. This is really gonna be hard to see from here, but I took the SEL competencies and broke them up into units. And I've got broken up into K2 and a 3.5. And then it talks in there about what they're learning about, why their specific learning target for it, as far as their indicators. So. We will, for K2 level, it's very similar to 3.5, but K2, our SEL learning competency is in the self-awareness slash identifying emotions section and learning about identifying emotions so I can learn how to self-regulate my emotions. I will know I have it when I can identify and name my own basic emotions and feelings and I can identify situations that might elicit emotions and feelings. I'm not going to use the word elicit with kids, so I'm going to have to explain that to them. But then on the 3-5 level, very similar, but their indicators say I'll know I'll have it when I can recognize differing intensity levels of my emotions. I can identify how thoughts and emotions influence behavior, and I can describe a range of emotions and the situations that cause those emotions. So in conjunction with that, 
I've got the emotional thermometers that we were going to be using. These uh, really coincide with the zones of regulation, but like I said in the previous video, we added the orange there. And this is also really a working document because as my students individually decide what their own strategies are, then we will replace these. So I just made a template to start. And then one of the lessons does like go through identifying what your indicators are and what your body cues are. So those are things that we'll probably add into here if I can get them to imitate some of these emotions and take pictures of each individual student. I would love to replace these with pictures of themselves. And then the strategies will also be customized for each student as we go through the lessons and they start identifying their own strategies. So at a very basic level, that is where we're starting. We'll also go through a lot of picture sorts and sorting where their feelings are at. I have made my own version of this and I will link that down below as well for you. But I just found some more realistic pictures and more options than what they give you in the book. So I made my own version that I do with kids. Uh, we do a lot of practicing, just naming motions and matching them to zones to start and then trying to identify that in ourselves. But being able to name it in someone else is like the first skill and identify it and match it to the zone and then trying to identify it in ourselves is the next skill. So that's a lot of what we're gonna be working on next week. I'm gonna pause for a moment and grab the zone stuff that I created. Okay, so as far as things that I have created to use for zones, we have the what zone am I in sort, and this is what I was talking about, the picture sort. So I actually have a laminated one of this that I just reuse every time, but we've got all these different, more realistic pictures, and we talk about the facial and body clues, sort them. There's no answer key to this. There's no really right or wrong answer, and truthfully, I should probably add our own orange one in here because that's what we've identified it as. But then I've also done one with this facial and body clue sort. So describing like shaky hands, feeling confused, a smiling face, your, your hands are sweating, um, body feels cold, foot tapping unconsciously, mouth hanging open, raised eyebrows, focused, motivated, fidgety, just a bunch of different clues to use. We've got the facial and body clues and then just words, descriptions that you would have to like identify in yourself. So this kind of takes it a step further. And then I've also created a zones board game. So it really just takes those indicators, those pictures we talked about, but you can also use the clues, the words for it. And then just as a board game, you can, and when I created this, I have a black and white version here too. I have them in black and white too if you don't have access to a colored printer but when I created this I also created some do I have some here oh yeah layer ponds that you can cut out and use that fit on there but I actually don't even use these ones because I use just other pieces I have from other games on our own to move around here however if you don't have those I did include some in here so anyways those are some of the things that we are going to be using in this next week to practice and this I doubt we get to it next week I'll probably reshow it to you in next week's vlog for the next week planning because it takes a long time to get through just identifying emotions and being able to introduce the thermometer so that's for next week we will do a quick review of it my younger kids are going to take longer with it because it'll be new to them and I'm gonna have to introduce it to my case suit K1 kids and then pretty much everyone two through five it's gonna be a quicker review they're gonna remember this a lot quick more quickly other than that now I need to go and meet with another sped teacher we're gonna collaborate on a student that she works with we're gonna try to put our heads together and see if we can help them out so I'm gonna put this away back here and head over to meet with the other teacher we made it to the weekend. It's a big celebration. I opened the box with one of my students, sort of two boxes, and this isn't everything that came, but my student was just so excited that I couldn't wait to do an unboxing just for the video. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got from my gift card. 
that was so kindly donated and then i'll show next week the rest of it that comes in but highly anticipated pencil sharpener finally excited to unbox that got a little spot of emotions box set with all the different emotions on here this is more for me me things for teaching the rest of these are all meant to be used for students i mean i guess i'm gonna use those things with students but i mean these aren't necessarily instructional materials so i talked in one of my previous videos about students with anxiety and how we need mental breaks and so i invested in a lot of mental breaks of books and things and we've already gotten into them actually one of the books is gone i have a fact book uh, from national geographic of a bunch of gross facts that's actually really fun and one of my students has already been really interested in that and took it back to his classroom to use in his break box in his classroom so we have silly jokes for kids lots of knock knock jokes we've gotten into those already sudoku for kids where's waldo fantastic journey best hidden pictures puzzle ever i plan on making copies of this just so that it can be used more than once it's something easy to copy big book of search and find lots of in there then the hardest hidden picture book ever i'm gonna make copies of some of these the color ones i can't really make copies of but some of the puzzles in here some of the black and white stuff i am like these i can definitely make copies of these guinness book of world records 2023 world almanac 5001 incredible facts for kids on nature science and people again nice big hardcover book i spy book pictures and riddles i spy treasure hunt i spy spooky night and where's waldo where's waldo uh, boredom buster book all nice big thick books so that is what took up the majority of it books that are thick and hardcover like this are quite pricey however they last longer and they're really nice and i'm just excited about the potential they have to help my students and to start using them we already have i've had i just opened them the last hour of the day and i've already got kids using them so that's really exciting i'm gonna head out of here i'll try to get some footage of the weekend we're going to a savannah bananas game tomorrow night it's really hard to get some tickets but we had some connections that we were able to score some tickets and go i'm really excited if you don't know what they are you should look them up they're like the harlem Glo globe trotters for baseball <laughs> essentially. I'm excited to go. We love baseball and yeah, have a weekend at home after the first week back at school with kids. That's it for this video. I hope you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't yet so that you can continue to see all my future uploads. If you made it this far in the video, I want you to comment your favorite brain break that you do with kids. And if you don't have a favorite one, comment a question, something that you would like to like me to address in the future video or an idea for a future video. That's all. I hope you all are having a great back to school adventure as well. And I will see you in the next one. I wish you could show me that love at a place I'm from. They raised me good. None of these days can touch my day one. I wish you could show me that if I make Take one ride around in my body